Yeah, yeah, I think we should, man. It'll be like this, but slightly more uh, formalized, like with comedy. Yeah, we're going to add comedy to it, to the mix. Instead of us sitting here non-comedically, we're going to add comedy. <laughs> Two very funny guys want you to laugh your way into 2021. Comedians Greg Proops and Ben Glebe are hosting an improvised comedy celebration tonight. You're probably at home, so why not join them? That's right. It's called Greg and Glebe. It's a New Year's Eve thing. And joining us live just about actually three hours from the start of their show are Greg Proops and Ben Glebe. Happy New Year to you, too. This is an exciting night. Now, I was doing some research before this interview, and I was looking up some videos, and you guys are used to uh, performing I mean, you know, before packed crowds. So this is a very different environment, very different atmosphere. How do you guys prepare for this? Um, I, uh, I uh, use a certain, you know, aids uh, <laughs> that help me, you know, feel more relaxed and whatnot. I'm familiar just different with that kinds aid. of uh, juices and um, elixirs uh, and yes. things like that. And the performance enhancers I use, I can't show on a news broadcast, but we just do what we can. Well, we do what we can sometimes, right? Sometimes we need some aids in here. <laughs> so it's different sometimes to do comedy when you're both in different venues. What are you going to do for, for people tonight? Just to, I think we all need to just laugh, let loose, and, you know, kind of put 2020 behind us, move forward with some, some joy and, you know, a sense of togetherness. Since we can't be physically together, you're providing a virtual way. It, it's great. Um, we uh, the audience uh, on the virtual audience leaves their microphones on, so we can hear their laughter. Oh, cool. So it's as close to a live show as you can get, and much safer. And tonight we have two very special guests that I work with in an improv group: uh, Dave Foley, uh, you may remember him from News Radio and Kids in the Hall, and of course Ryan Stiles, who I'm in a group with and uh, on whose line they're going to both drop by and do some improv with us tonight as well. So yes, and I'm able to benefit from the people that Greg knows, and so they will be on the show <laughs> thanks to his contacts and me tagging along for the ride. Of, 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 of all of Ben's famous friends, I've done the most for him. That is correct. That is correct. A lot of them won't return my calls, and so I'm still waiting. I, I hold out hope. Well, you guys seem to make a great team. So how will it work for people? I know uh, there's still a chance to get in on this show. What's it going to be like for uh, the people watching you guys tonight? It's a ton of fun. So we've created during this pandemic the Nowhere Comedy Club. It's the world's first virtual comedy club. And we have big headliners from around the globe performing. And then Greg and I do this monthly show where we do improv games, Whose Line Is It Anyway? style. So we take questions from the audience, then we take suggestions from them, we play games, we make it all up on the spot, and people get to be part of it. They create the show. Greg dances strangely, <laughs> randomly in the middle of games. It's very weird. But people People get to actually feel like they are with their favorite performers in some way better than being at a live venue because every seat is in the front row. Everyone gets the perfect view that you're seeing right now. I love that it's interactive and I think that it's a, a nice refreshing way to ring in the new year. What are the hours going to be tonight? The show, Greg, do you want to tell them? Sure. We start at 730. Uh, we've got Jen Saunderson and Dio Latriani, uh, who's a buddy of mine from San Francisco. Because uh, I do New Year's with her in San Francisco every year for like the last five years. And then Dave and Ryan will come on somewhere in the middle of the show. And then uh, Benjamin and I are doing a, a cocktail party afterward. Where we're going to show you how to make our favorite cocktails. How do you get tickets, Ben? What's the best link? That's a great question. Also, before the show ends, Greg, I should mention to them that right at East Coast midnight, there will be a midnight toast okay. that you can join us for. So you'll be able to join us for a couple of uh, hours before the West Coast New Year's and still celebrate privately and do what you do. We don't ask questions. <laughs> and then we will be doing the VIP after show as well. You can get tickets, Greg. I'm so glad you asked at NowhereComedyClub.com. Just click on the picture of us on the calendar or directly you can go to tinyurl.com slash live. DEC31, which is a code you can't figure out, but yeah, I think that you got it. Midnight Toast was my nickname all through college. That's absolutely correct. And just so you guys know, Greg and I have been doing so many shows together, it's almost as though we're becoming one, and I'm transforming oh into Greg oh, in certain ways that beautiful. are mind-blowing oh. to anybody who's a plebeian <laughs> and not from San Francisco and oh its surrounding gosh. areas. I didn't realize you guys are magicians, you imagine, too. imagine, Shannon, if you and I did that? Hey, guys, we thank you so much. Break. Happy New Year. Love ringing in the East Happy Coast New Year, New Year you guys. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Happy New Year. Good thank you for having us. Jobs for us too. <laughs>